Hey guys, this is Chris. I'm here with one of my computers. Uh, it's in an Antec Landboy case, as you can see. Uh, it uses an ASUS Z68 uh, LGA1155 board. It has a, a Core i5, a, a 2500K, it's a quad core. It's a little bit out of date at this point. Uh, CPU is cooled by a uh, H100, not the H100i, but just an H100. Uh, it has an MSI. 560Ti twin frozer graphics card in it, um, 16 gigs of RAM, of course the color of the RAM doesn't match the PC, I was just trying to get the cheapest stuff I could at the time, and then it's got uh, I think an OCZ uh, Agility uh, SSD boot drive, and that's about it, um, you know it's got a whole bunch of fans in it that uh, glow blue, I'll show you that a little bit later. Um, you know, Blu-ray drive, and then an external fan controller, which is, I think, is a, a Scythe K's something or other, but it's got basically 12 knobs for fan control. Um, it's been sitting under my desk for a while. All my computers sit on the floor. I'm sure people will hate me for that. And uh, this one, I bought the case because it's mobile, so it's got two handles on the top, which is really easy for... Uh, moving the case around and stuff, and it seemed pretty modular. You can pretty much take the entire case down to the frame, um, and, it's, and it wasn't that expensive. The downside being that, well, it's it, the downside in the end. Um, basically, it's a mesh case. It doesn't have any solid walls on it, and it's advertised that, hey, if you do it right, you can keep dust out of the case by putting you know positive pressure into the case by having a bunch of fans that blow inwards. Uh, I tried to do that um, and haven't really cleaned it in a while and you'll find that there's been a lot of dust build up. So what I'm doing today is I'm just cleaning it out, um, checking on it because uh, my wire cable management hasn't been that great if I had any cable management at all. And um, yeah, so uh, I'll be taking it apart, just taking a look at it, making sure everything's okay. Although it's, it's been operating fine. I just got sick of looking at the dust built up on it so um. hey guys so this is the uh, Antec Landboy I'm just coming in for a closer look so this case was capable of USB 3.0 uh, you can see I put a blu-ray drive in it it's got that fan controller with 12 knobs on it um, that fan controller works pretty well it's something that people look for on those is uh, can you turn the fans off completely and you can on this one in fact uh, I was looking specifically at the time for a fan controller that could do that because uh, this case has a lot of blue fans and I wanted the ability to turn them off one at a time and also just to turn off all the blue lights if I was annoyed of the of the brightness because they are pretty bright. Um, also, uh, I made the mistake, and you should never do this, of buying the case before figuring out whether the H100 would fit in it. I think I was able to find a video on YouTube um, that basically said that you could fit an H100 on the front in uh, basically behind these two fans. It didn't really explain very well how to do it, but as far as I remember, but I was able to do it. It's not mounted the best way, but it fits in there and it's in a push-pull configuration. Um, so I'll show you a better view of that. But those are the two fans uh, in the uh, push configuration. Um, here's the dust buildup, which is problematic. And you can see on the side panel I have four fans. They're blue LED fans. Um, just a lot of dust build up. See, when I bought the case, I actually thought I could put the H100 up here, but um, because, you know, it's an all-in-one cooler, I couldn't get the cabling or the, the wiring through or anything like that, the, uh, the tubing. This case does have on the back for custom water cooling solutions, you know, the grommeted holes, but uh, I would have had to either put a hole in the top of the case or figure out something. Then in the back, I'm using just an HX850 Corsair power supply. Um, interestingly, this is one of those cases where it, it provided USB 3.0 front inputs, but required that you actually ran a cable out the back through this special metal mounting hole that kind of um, fixes the wire in place, and you were actually plugging a wire into the USB 3.0 in the back through the I.O. shield, and that's powering the USB 3.0 in the front of the case, which is kind of janky, but whatever. Um, what can I say about the case? I mean, it looks good with the fans running, it just builds up dust like you wouldn't believe. 
Um, and that could be related to me putting the computer on the ground. It could be related to this dog who generates a lot of fur everywhere. Or I'm not really sure. Um, Maybe I was just doing it wrong. I don't have fans in every possible orifice of the case, you know. Okay, so I've already taken some of the screws out of the case, so I'm just going to show you what, what it looks like in the front here. So, had the, these uh, pretty neat doors, actually. This whole thing can disassemble. Um, and uh, here's what it looks like on the inside front. You can see the H100 in the top with the... Uh, tubing coming out the top. The tubing was pretty flexible. The new uh, H100i's and the H100i GTX, the tubing is wider and less flexible than this stuff. Um, I can't really say one way or another how much I care. I've been able to make it work either way. Uh, the tubing was able to make it all the way to the CPU here, although it was close. Uh, it's a push-pull configuration, so the fans in the front are the ones that come with the H100, the Corsair ones. These in the back are some really high airflow fans. Um, I forget exactly what model they are, but they're, you know, huge 120 millimeter fans, like really thick. I think normal 120 millimeter fans are 25 millimeters deep, and I think these are like 37 millimeters deep. Um, and then in the back, uh, in the bottom, you can see the uh, OCZ Agility 3. It's mounted in a 3.5 to 2.5 adapter, which is elastically mounted inside the case. That is actually pretty neat. I like when you can do elastic mountings or rubber grommets for... SSDs. So that's what it looks like in the front. Uh, you can see my horrible cable management for all the fans. Uh, when I take the case apart, I'll try and get some better lighting on it. Okay guys, so here's inside the case. You can see the unbelievable amount of dust that's built up on these uh, four blue LED fans. Um, what else? You can see the HX850 down there, uh, the MSI Twin Frozer graphics card and then your uh, water cooling solution and the non-matching red RAM on the blue motherboard which irks me a little bit. Um, I don't know why I ever would have done that, but I did. So that's pretty much it. The case is, is relatively empty. I mean, there's not much in it. In large part, I think the cable management looks horrible because of the sheer number of fans and the fact that there's nowhere I can hide them. Um, also, I guess the HX850 that I bought is not modular. I thought they made them modular now. Or, oh, it's only semi-modular. Um, so, uh, main power cables are not modular, but the uh, SATA cables and everything are. Um, so, I'm just going to be cleaning this, and yeah, we'll see how it goes.
I'm going to start it up and show you what it looks like with fans off and on. So here we go, that's all of the fans on. You can see that the four side fans that I have installed glow blue. Um, but it's all controllable also. So uh, I'm going to come up here and uh, I can turn off every one of these fans individually. I actually can turn off every fan except uh, the two that are directly controlled by the H100. Now the two that are controlled by the H100 are separately controlled by separate uh, knobs here and then there's 120 millimeter fan on the back that's also controlled. Now these are the really loud ones. Here's what happens when you turn them all the way up. I'm sure you can hear that. It's like a vacuum cleaner. And that's off. Here's just one of them. And then I can turn on each one of these fans, and you can see they actually get brighter. You're giving more power to the fan by turning it. And I can turn on different ones. So, it's pretty neat. probably be doing something with this case sometime in the near future but for the moment I just cleaned it uh, just wanted to show you guys you know the kind of computer that I put together I realize the cable management isn't very good but once again it's really hard to hide cables when the entire case is a mesh frame so anyways uh, guys thanks for watching my video and uh, I'll try and keep making more in the future